Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with another Madden player creation tutorial video. Today we're doing Hall of Fame defensive lineman David Deacon Jones of the LA Rams, San Diego Chargers, and Washington Redskins. Unbelievable player, eight time Pro Bowler, five time All Pro, two time Defensive Player of the Year winner, and one of the best defensive linemen the NFL has ever seen. Also, is known for coining this for the phrase of a sack in the NFL during his 14 year career, which is pretty incredible and just tells you not only it's been a minute since he played, you know, he played in the 60s, but also just the significance he had on defense as a whole, not only on the defensive line, but defense as a whole. And the phrase of the sack and also impacting the game via the pass rush because one of the things he did in order to get a more effective pass rush on offensive linemen in the league was a, a little bit of a head slap motion basically to get by offensive linemen kind of daze them for a second and they do discuss that a lot of NFL films whenever they do discussions with Deacon Jones, they do interviews with him and they showcase that and how he talked about that and what he did in his career. So that was one big thing that I almost didn't even realize uh, just was outlawed and was not going to be accepted in the NFL after what he did. He basically changed the rule because he was just so effective at it and getting by offensive linemen. Played basically and a lot of his career. I kind of thought at one point he played defensive tackle and I'm sure he was shuffled around, but as a defensive end, it's incredible for a guy his height and weight 6'5", you know, 270 at that point to be so quick off the line of scrimmage and be so effective at rushing the quarterback. And obviously sacks weren't recorded at this point, so he has an unofficial record in terms of how many sacks he had during the entire duration of his career. But again, it's unofficial, so we don't know for certain. But nonetheless, Deacon Jones, one of the best defensive linemen in NFL history. And in terms of Madden, one of the issues I've personally felt Madden's had in a, in a, for a couple years is the effectiveness of the defensive line and how you can really best replicate that against the offensive lines in the video game universe with the ultimate authenticity implemented and that's really difficult to accomplish because defensive linemen some of the best players in the league on the defensive line can really affect the outcome of a game by just how disruptive they, they are and that's really hard to again replicate in a Madden game so and, it, and also you, you're not really certain as a player as a you know player playing the game of Madden if you want that problem because there's a little bit of a conflict in how realistic you want to make the game and how fun you want to make it a, a great combination of both is what is obviously desired but I think in some phases including this one it is desirable to have that authenticity included in the game and, and make it as real as possible because it makes you adapt in a way that I feel like Madden should be played. You know, you should have to adapt to the strengths and weaknesses of your opponent and vice versa because I feel like making adjustments actually makes you work for stuff. There's been so many years in Madden where guys just kind of can go through the motions game in, game out, and not really have to make too many adjustments. And that's not really what I feel like the game should be based around because in real football, you do have to make adjustments based on what the other team is doing and where their best players are at, what they've done in the past, again, strengths and weaknesses, what they plan on doing, the personnel they show. It's all about that. You know, that's the other issue when we talk about defensive coverages in the game when guys do base a line and they just kind of show the same look every time. And even when they use the same coverages and it continues to work because they have a, a blitz set up or whatever that just comes in every time. If you, but again, that's why I think this year it's been a, it's been an improvement in my opinion because you can start to beat people doing those things but you know hopefully the defensive line will get a boost and, and it will be really effective because guys like Deacon Jones which has absolutely caused havoc wreck havoc on the offensive lines one of the best defensive linemen again in NFL history like I've mentioned really unfortunate that I didn't get to see him play a little bit more recent but that's just how it is there's been so many great players in the past and it, it must have been awesome for people to have watched him play such an early time in the NFL too in, in the 60s but here we go with the creation of Deacon Jones. Lots of different options you can go with here. A lot of the retro players, again, are really fun to create because of how many accessories I feel like they have. You see the tape on both wrists. I think I actually go back and adjust this and actually add even more sleeves on his shoulder, a, a quarter sleeve on both sides of white Under Armour. And I think that adds a lot as well. 
because that's just another aspect. He had very, you know, kind of lengthy sleeves. That's just kind of how he looked. Really kind of an interesting frame, and that's why I made the pads height and weight like it is, because when you watch him in highlights reels or, or whenever you, you see images of him playing, he has a really unique um, figure about him. So just take that into consideration when you're looking at the player that I have on the screen right here, because I took that into account when making him. But we get on into the ratings, and I'm not going to lie, for these ones, I actually did use a lot of what I saw on Mutthead from his 99 overall card and just kind of declined those numbers a little bit, lowered those numbers just a little bit because I was looking at his ultimate team card that was his ultimate master card or whatever it was called, I forgot, I forgot what it is, ultimate legend, yeah, his ultimate legend card, I ended up changing those numbers a little bit, but I still got to boost them up because this guy is an absolute animal. I really, I don't even know who possibly compared to this guy today because he almost seems like he's like faster than a guy like a JJ Watt and, you know, nearly just as strong, if not, you know, the same strength. But again, some of the, his tactics were outlawed, including, you know, smashing your hand across an offensive lineman's helmet to kind of get in a motion and kind of get a uh, an advanced, I guess, jump off the line of scrimmage. But there's no doubt this guy would be dominant in every era of football really fun player to create thanks for this thanks for the suggestion but that will be the conclusion of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed you know make sure to subscribe to the channel for more bad player creation tutorial videos madden content and hopefully in the future some nba content you know try and get that going as well but once again hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and yep thanks for watching